Good morrow, fellow YouTubers, and welcome to my 86 VBA 2010 tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you how to use the sum and count SQL functions. Uh, what these functions allow you to do is just do a little bit of calculation in your queries rather than just uh, showing us some records. So I'm going to remove my entire SQL string here and start again. Uh, and what I've also done, I'm only going to bring back through one record to start off with. So I've just commented it out filling in the extra columns and um, let's just clear off what's in our sheet as well so in our SQL string uh, what I'm going to want to do is I just want to bring through the total value of all the sales here so oh, no, I'm going to count how many sales there are in here uh, I'm going to filter it so it's going to tell me how many sales there are for the ID Collins uh, and then afterwards I'll do a sum. So first of all, let's do count. So we're going to put in our select as normal and then we want to put in customer underscore ID. I want to wrap customer ID in brackets and just write count at the start. So select the count of customer ID uh, and then put from sales. So just the name of our table and let's just put where customer underscore ID equals and then Collins and what this is going to do is just going to tell us how many times the customer ID field and you could use any field for this for the for the count how many times we see the word Collins in this table uh, and I've just made my database really big rather than moving off the screen uh, I've just done it again uh, apparently I have the inability to move windows things around on our good old windows so let's press play now uh, and you notice it's come through with date because I've got these cells formatted as a date so let's just get rid of that format cells general and it comes through with two so it's just counting how many there are uh, if we come in here and we change one of these so change Collins Collins so there's three Collins we come back in here and press play then it's going to change to three now we can also do a sum so let's say we want to do the sum of item value from sales and what this is going to do is going to add up the value of all the items in here so let's press play and it's going to show us 25 which is 10 plus 12 plus 3, 25. Uh, and if we really want to, we can press the currency button and make it into a currency. Um, so that's how you use sum and count. You, you sometimes want to expand it with uh, what we call the group by uh, function and put groups in. So we say we want to, instead of just bringing through for one customer, we want to bring it through for all customers and have a list showing each of them. Then we can do this using group by and some extra fields so I'm going to come on to that in the next tutorial uh, because this one's getting a bit lengthy now uh, so for now thanks for listening if you're enjoying the tutorials please subscribe so you get updates when I come out with new videos uh, and check out our website and forum uh, for if you want the code samples uh, or if you've got any questions so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon